What's going on everybody? We're back at Dylan's with his JL. Today we're going to be going over mods that will be recommended to new JL owners, people who are trying to build their JLs, and kind of go over some of the cool mods that he's done to his Jeep to make it look like this. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's raining here, so we have the Jeep pulled up next to like the porch and we're going to do our best to make this video for you. But we're back with Dylan, like I said in the intro, so tell us the first three mods you would do to a Jeep JL when you're building it. So the first three mods I would do if I just got a new JL would be to put wheels and tires on it, which you can add those as two, and a lift. Um, if you want to do three separate ones, I'd do wheels and tires as one a lift and bumpers. I think it's that's a pretty simple way. It makes your Jeep clean it up, look a lot different. Um, and there's so many things to customize and choose from in the industry that you can make it look really unique. Also with bumpers, I would 100% get a reliable winch. One that you're not gonna have issues with. If you do, it's backed by a really good warranty. A winch is something you definitely don't wanna cheap out on because if you end up stuck out on the trails, it would be miserable if your winch fails you. So I would definitely get a quality winch and a quality bumper to mount to, so neither of those fail when you need them most. Now let's go over some like mods to make your Jeep more unique, because I know you have a bunch of mods like that on yours. So for the JLs especially, there's, um, everyone knows, well not everyone, but a fender chop kit. And that's where you essentially take the two parts of the fender and you cut it off. Uh, you cut it in half. Now that is a Rubicon only thing for the cutting part, however there are companies now that make the uh, fender chop kit for Sahara and Sports and Willys and those type of models. What um, brand do you have for your fender chop? So mine are Quake LED, they're uh, daytime running lights, sequential turn signals, and they actually have a side marker too so it's legal on the road. Um, there's a couple other brands, I don't really remember which ones fit each Jeep, but I know that there's about three other in the industry. Um, and I've heard they all work pretty well. This is the brand that I went with because I like the design and the look of them. We'll go ahead and link the ones Dylan has down in the description. We'll also link various products that we talk about when we talk about specific ones down in the description for you guys to check out. But that's one mod. So what are two other mods you think you can do to make your Jeep unique and stand out? So, um, the JLs are a lot different than the JKs as for design goes. Um, I think the lighting is a lot different. You can put different things on the hood. As you can see, my light bar up there is just a slim row light bar. I did customize that bracket. Um, you can do lights, in my opinion, that change the look of them as where the J the JKs have a very standard boxy look. So now that the JLs are more round, you can add rounder lights and there's like KC lights and things like that that are round. In my opinion, they look better in that way. But um, other than that, I mean, so I would say the chop kit, um, the tops are kind of cool. There's a couple industry, or there's a couple uh, companies in the industry that do different style tops for the JL. Again, different design that they made with the JL, so um, it works out with that. And Josh can link that video of mine to show you what tops I'm talking about. Uh, there's a whole install video on that. I'll put some pictures like down in the corner as well. Various tops he's run on his Jeep. Yep, I have three or four different ones I've done, and uh, I like them all. So, and we'll kind of show you like what it's made for and how to do that now as far as the interior goes i know it's harder to find some mods for the interior but let's go ahead and hop in your car and show them the iDrive you have some of the trim pieces you have and then you also have that taser right yeah so i have the taser on and that just makes a world of a difference so we'll show you why to do that and why you would need that on something like this all right so for the interior we have the iDrive down here and let me kind of start it up for you so what there is, is there is economy, ultimate, and then this one essentially like learns your driving methods, which is a really cool setting. Um, if you know how I drive, you know I like it on ultimate, so you can go all the way up to nine. And what this does is tells your Jeep that, say you're like just laying your foot on the pedal, it actually, the Jeep thinks that you're slamming down on the pedal. So it changes where the throttle position is. Um, it's not a tune. It doesn't void warranty. You can easily unplug it. It doesn't. It doesn't affect the Jeep at all, other than your throttle position. As for economy, it goes into economy, 
and it's the opposite of slamming down on your pedal. So you'll push the pedal down and it'll take longer to accelerate. Um, that saves you on gas and long trips of just kind of jerking you back and forth. It's a pretty simple thing to do. And um, so it's Ultimate 9 on Instagram or on their website. Josh will link that also. Um, I recommend that honestly for any Jeep. You don't have to have a JL, you can have a JK. They make them for Fords, Rams, they make them for everything. So. Um, it's pretty simple with that. That's Ultimate 9 or the iDrive as it used to be. And then you also have a taser for this, right? Yeah, so the taser's up underneath the dash. Um, obviously it doesn't need to be seen, it's just a little module. And what the taser does is it lets you change your gear ratio if you change your gears. It lets you change um, whether your fog lights stay on with the high beams. It lets you change uh, tire sizes. It lets you change your lowest PSI for your tires. It literally lets you change almost everything. Um, as you can see, in the JLs, a lot of people hate um, auto off and auto on. So with my Jeep, auto off will always stay off because of the taser. It will never shut itself off at a traffic light. That's what I love about that. Um, it's simple. Another thing is turn signals. So when I flick my turn signal on, the rear camera comes on and I can actually see when I'm driving what's to the left and right of me. That's a really cool feature for me. And one more feature that I um, I really like about it is um, there's a thing called light show, and we'll show that after I get out. Um, you push unlock, unlock, lock, and unlock as a sequence, and it actually does like an emergency flash pattern on the Jeep. It's really, really cool, and there's five settings for that. Again, we'll get out of the Jeep after doing the interior, and we'll show you exactly what that looks like. It's really sick. Um, especially like when you're like off-roading and stuff. It just looks cool going through the trails. So now let's also go over phone mounts and radio mounts and stuff. I see you have a ton of mounts in here. Right. So, um, this one is from, so this mount up here that goes into the actual grab handle is from Carolina Metal Masters and it also serves as a mirror. So when my doors are off, my mirrors are here. They do make that for JKs too. It's in a little bit of a different spot, but it's still the same type of thing. Uh, it comes with that one inch ball here, and then there's also one that you can plug right in here. So there's multiple different places. There's here, here. I mean, there's like, there's one on Josh's side there. Um, there's so many different places where you can put it. Um, I pair it with a Ram Mounts X Grip, which is a really, really heavy duty uh, phone holder essentially. And you can move it around and up and down and whatever you want. So say I want it here, you just tighten it up. Thing is not going anywhere. You take it, put your phone in, let go. And there you go. So now your phone is steady. It won't go anywhere. It's not gonna fall out. It's gripped on. And then you can move it really easily by adjusting the knob here. That's probably super nice off-road when you have your trail maps up on your phone. Yeah, and also I put it like this and I record like that. So it's pretty simple. Is that how you get the um, time lapses in your channel? <laughs> yeah, so in my channel you'll see a lot of like hood shots and that's exactly what it's doing right there. It just sits there as a time lapse. Now if you guys didn't know, Dylan does have a channel. We did used to make a bunch of videos together. Well, we both kind of stopped making YouTube videos for a little bit, but I think we're both getting back into it now. So I will link his channel down below in the description for you guys to check out. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to his channel, check out some of his videos. He's got some pretty sweet ones. But let's go ahead and hop out of the Jeep and show them that light show mode. Yeah. Okay, so for the light show, your sequence is unlock, unlock, lock, unlock. So we're gonna go to the Jeep now. Unlock, unlock, lock, unlock. Let it give it a second. It does some cool like sporadic things. The brake lights and all the reverse lights are also going off. Now there's five settings on it. So to change those, you just hit unlock and it goes to the next setting. It's kind of like the Tesla lights with like the Christmas music and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. It's so, similar to that. Um, there's different patterns and sequences as it's going off and things like that. You just keep hitting, there you go. This is my favorite one. It's kind of, it's pretty cool looking and Let's run out and look at the tail lights really quick too. So I love the look of the tail lights with the reverse lights. They're kind of just going back and forth and blinking and my license plate light stays on, which is cool. Um, again, just unlock it, it'll change the pattern. It does some really cool stuff. No, that's definitely awesome. Like I said, guys, all of these products that we talked about, the ones where we told you exactly what product it was and everything will be linked down below. Obviously, the ones that are like lifts and tires and stuff like that, you got to do your own research and figure out exactly what you want. 
But all the ones we went in depth about will be linked down below. I'll also link Dylan's channel so you guys can see more about this Jeep and just see more Jeep content in general. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to his channel, leave a like while you're there, and stay tuned for more videos. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.